Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Hi, babes. Hi, sunnies. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, then welcome to my channel. It is Jay back again with another video for y'all. Today is going to be a wig review video. So I purchased this wig with my own coins and it's not what I wanted at all. It's like what I wanted versus what I got. Like, I'm not happy about it. I'm kind of insulted by what they sent me. So I've been fighting with them, I've been fighting back and forth about um, basically getting a refund because I don't want this wig. So yeah, I wanted this wig for a really long time. I've been seeing it everywhere and it's such a vibe. And I want it like that type of vibe right now. As you guys can see, this is what I had to like make do because the wig that I ordered was like useless. So I had to make do a hairstyle, but it came out really cute. But yeah, I've been wanting this wig for a really long time, ordered it and it's nothing like the pictures. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. So I ordered this wig off of AliExpress. AliExpress has only done me wrong one other time. So I was just like a little disappointed that I was done wrong by AliExpress again, again. So the company that I purchased from is Luxurious. Looks like this. And yeah, so I looked at their reviews and come to find out, I guess their reviews are very much fake because yeah. So their reviews had to be fake and I thought it was a good wig or it was going to come slightly um, off maybe, but not completely wrong like how I'm about to show y'all. So yeah, um, I did look at their reviews and everything, but they didn't have a lot of sales. And the reason that I was kind of like, mm, okay, and I like risked it is because like this wig literally kind of just like popped up as a trend. So like a lot of their hair companies don't have it yet because I checked because I checked. So yeah, AliExpress was one of the ones that had it, but it's not what I asked for. So opening the box, the contents are the wig, which is on top, and then they did provide the wig cap, but since I am trying to send this back, I'm just gonna put it back in the box. Like Whatever they sent me, they can have it back, because I don't want this wig. So let's get into the wig. It comes in a bag. And it also has a net on it. It also has some paper in there. So we're gonna take that out. And um, and so yeah, this is what it's looking like. Immediately, the first thing that I noticed, obviously why I bought it, is the color. I don't wanna hear nothing. It is not up for debate as far as this wig being like that wig. This wig does not look like that wig. I don't care what y'all say. Like, this wig does not look like the pictures. And it's like, yeah, it does have some silver streaks, but like, it doesn't look like the picture to me. I could argue with whoever, but I'm not gonna argue with you. Like this wig is just not what I thought it was going to be. So like the coloring to me, I feel like is very much off. So yeah, the color is extremely off to me. And I would say like, yeah, it does have the silver streaks, but it doesn't look like the picture. So yeah, if you, so yeah, if you are okay with the coloring, like this is how it's gonna look then by all means the link is down below at the bottom so yeah feeling it i mean it is soft it's soft it's 20 inches i think it is accurate to length like i'm not gonna just nitpick and you know what i'm saying like pick and choose what's wrong with it i really just don't like the coloring because it doesn't match the picture but as far as softness i think it's pretty soft i mean it's not as soft as some wigs i have felt before but it is really really soft i would say it's true to length like this definitely looks like 20 inches to me so i would definitely say it's um true to length and based on touching it i just feel like 150 density like that it seems about right so going into the wig it's not a bad wig it's just the coloring that i can't do anything with it like i just can't so going into the wig it is actually a really nice constructed wig so you have your clips on the side and also like back right here and at the bottom you have adjustable straps and you have a t part so it's like a 13 by one situation or like 13 t part situation so yeah like you have all of this to work with as far as your edges but as far as parting it's only right here so i don't think it's a horrible wig but it's the coloring for me like i can't so the pricing for this wig was 163 or 164 after tax and i don't think it's a bad price for the wig 
especially when you're trying to like prepay for work like as far as coloring and stuff if you're like prepaying for it to come colored to you i don't mind paying a little extra for that because you don't have to do any of the dyeing and all of that but yeah i don't think the pricing is too too bad 163 is not horrible um i would have liked to at least see a 4x4 four four or a 13x4 situation i really just tea parts are not my favorite but you can like it's doable you feel me so yeah this is what it's looking like like as far as the lace i would definitely recommend plucking it and um bleaching it as best as you can because it's kind of like i don't know i feel like it need to be plucked a little bit and definitely bleached the knots need to be bleached it's how the wig looks on the side the part that is out right here so you can definitely pluck that and do like some really nice baby hairs too so yeah i mean i feel like i don't have a problem with the wig in itself it's just the coloring really like let me down and it looks better um as far as with the ring light and stuff but this just isn't giving me what i thought i was going to get i honestly thought about thugging it out and like using it but i really just don't like it and i don't feel like it's what i what i ordered and what i expected so right now i'm fighting with them as far as trying to get a refund all they want to do is give me partial partial meaning only $50 back for the wig and they keep on saying like oh you could die you could die it so they kept on telling me like you can dye the wig so they were gonna pay me the partial $50 and then said like you can dye it you can keep it or whatever and it's like mm, I don't want to do all that because if I wanted to like DIY it and dye it then I would have just bought a black wig like I bought it because of what was advertised is my issue so yeah, I don't know. It has silver in it, but it's just not the coloring that I thought it was going to be. It does have some hints of silver. I'll give y'all that, but it's just not what I thought it was going to be. I guess it's my fault, but hey, it is what it is. Hopefully we can get it returned and sent back to them so that I can um, basically look for another one. I want money back so I can look for another wig like this, but better. So that's that on that if you guys are interested in it because i'm not stopping you from spending your coins on it but i spent my coins on it no sponsorship they ain't send it to me or nothing like i spent my coins on it i don't like it so i'm trying to get my coins back but if you want it i will have it linked down below for you but yeah this is pretty much the wig that's all i have to say about it um it's not a horrible wig i'm like looking at it and i'm trying to see if i can finesse it because i'm trying to thug it out i really hate the process of like returning things that you order online but it's just not what i expected but yeah that's all that's all i gotta say so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you comment down below subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn that post notification bell on so the next time that i drop a video you will be notified also make sure you follow me on social media for daily content and i will see y'all in my next video love you guys